Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What were you bullied for? Being poor. Dot and my mom smoked continuously so being poor and smelly. Kids are brutal. That is rough. I knew a girl whose mom chain smoked inside, so the girl always smelled like smoke. One day she tried using her dad's cologne and sprayed a bunch on herself thinking it was the same. As perfume. But she got made fun of even more for smelling like a guy. My mom chain smoked inside my entire childhood and it wasn't until I moved out that I realized how stanky I must have smelled growing up. At school, friends houses, sports. I was completely oblivious because the stench was just baseline for me. All right. Payless shoes unite. We couldn't afford Payless. Sears outlet was where my shit came from. That's the question. I have no clue but they hated me for no reason. Bullies just look for any reason. Quote. The reason is secondary to their primary motivation. Basically, the reason isn't a even reason because it's not reasonable. It's just a flimsy, hollow excuse to abuse another person for personal gratification. At my school a girl got bullied for her hair color. By another girl who had exactly the same hair color. In my experience they try to find out what triggers you and use that against you. Doesn't have to make sense. I was bullied for smelling and eventually I showered three times a day. Parents loved that. So in hindsight I'm sure I didn't smell anymore. But it did get to me. They also bullied me with other things but to give an idea. I was called a biscuit head. Because my head was shaped like a biscuit. The Brit in me needs to know what sort of biscuit. Tim Tam. How can a head be shaped like a biscuit isn't that just round? There was a particular biscuit I liked then. That was square in shape open mouth smile. I was socially awkward. I also was greatly motivated to be liked. I did a lot of shit trying to be liked that in hindsight, made me unliked. It's such a catch 22 people are drawn to charismatic confidence. Not too much, but just enough is the key. Even if you make a fool of yourself. If you can play it off confidently then you'll be likable around the right group. It's hard to have confidence if you're not liked. So by trying to be liked without confidence, you actually give off an air of desperation. Desperation gives off a vibe that's noticeable from a mile away to anyone. Desperation just makes people uncomfortable and that's when people tend to bully you over that. Shared discomfort. The bullying ruins any chance you have to be confident. The more you are bullied, the more likely you are to manifest a negative view of people around you. And the more likely you are to lash out at people. The bullied can become the bully very quickly, and the cycle starts again. It's truly a vicious cycle. Eczema which often affected my face. Same. I had to wear white cotton gloves to school. And one time a teacher threw away my art project because she didn't want me to infect the other kids. Damn. That's rough to experience no matter the age. People don't realize how badly eczema can affect mental health. Especially when you wake up in the middle of the night bleeding and furiously scratching in your sleep. As a black kid, in a predominantly black area, wearing glasses and having braces, being fat, being nice, being smart, liking anime, wanting to be a pilot, influenced by the anime I liked the most. But guess what? I'm a fucking pilot now. The sweetest revenge is achieving your dreams. Being the small kid, kind of the same, girl with no boobs and late development. Always, are you sure you're not a boy? Because also my parents kept my hair short as a girl. I never got the boy teasing, but I was incessantly teased once I grew boobs at 15-ish. I went from an R to AE within about 6 months and people decided I must have gotten a boob job. Over the school holidays, there's just no winning as a girl really. If you're flat chested you get bullied for it. If you have big boobs then you get sexually harassed. That was my brother. He had a rare genetic disease called Bloom's syndrome. He only was 4 feet 5 and weighted 60 pounds as a full grown adult. Kids picked on him a lot and my dad got to be on a first name basis with the principal for all the fights I got into protecting him. It finally got to the point I had permanent chair outside the principal's office. I would look at whatever teacher broke it up and would I know I'll be in my chair. Might as well call my dad now. My dad would put on a good show of tearing me the whole young lady you know you aren't supposed to be fighting, let alone fighting in school. You're grounded for two weeks then when I got home he would laugh his ass off about being called to the school. I was never punished for protecting my brother. After a couple of years of getting their asses beat down the kids stopped picking on my brother. They knew contending with his crazy big sister wasn't worth it. My brother sadly passed away in August due to cancer which he was predisposed to from the blooms. Syndrome and those same kids that picked on him unmercifully when we were younger were at his funeral sobbing their hearts out because my brother became the best friend they had ever had once. They gave him a chance. Fuck me was not expecting that at the end. Your brother sounded like a kind soul and you are an amazing sister. I didn't know it at the time, but for being autistic. Apparently people tried to bully me in school but I was so oblivious that I didn't even notice lol. 
I have a friend like that. He wouldn't notice people's tones and took what they said literally. He only knew he was being bullied when it was extremely direct. He was the 1% outcast weirdo with me XD. Absolutely can testify to this. I read a study somewhere that apparently every non-autistic person can tell if someone is autistic. Within 5 minutes, they just don't realize their brain is making that distinction. It gets a bit depressing if I think about it too much. Edit. So, non-autistic people's brains will automatically mark the autistic person as different. Even if they don't know why. It's a subconscious thing which is even worse. One of my best friends has Asperger's. And, honestly, I knew like instantly when I met him. But there are people out there, like me, who don't give a shit. We bonded over something we are both passionate about, and been friends for 20 years now. I am also autistic and I've been bullied my whole life. Even by people who loudly proclaim to be all for social justice and etc. Yeah, from experience, the people who are loud towards social justice only care about feeling good about themselves and couldn't give two fucks about what they're supposedly protecting. It's a cheap way to feed a messiah ego.